so we're just leaving the Peacock. It's a really nice evening. It's middle of November, 2021. It's not raining, there's no wind. Um, got the blinking lights, which I've never liked, but they're fine. And uh, How do I it's relaxing outside. I have no idea. I'm not from here. Me either. Where are you from? San Francisco. Oh, okay. Where I live you know in the city. Here? I'm trying to get over to my friend's place on Southwest 10th Street. Um, hmm. Trying to remember the way the streets run. So I'm, I'm videotaping right now, just so you know, like for my okay. Uh, I'm trying not. I won't get you on. Well, I might get I, you on, but I'm you know. Either okay. way. So 10th is. I've been here two days. That's it. Um, the streets. Here from. Oh, here we go. So we have um, um, Vancouver, Washington. Originally from Bellevue. Well, see, Vancouver, Washington. And Vancouver usually sounds like Canada, which is a whole other angelic place. It know? is. Um, but Vancouver, Washington is not too far away, just across no, no, the border. No. Yeah. Uh, Portland, you know, you've got Vancouver. I spent a lot of time in San Francisco. It's nice. Or at least I haven't been there in 20 years, so I don't know how it is anymore. But uh, I moved there, about, moved back there about 20 years ago. You did? Uh, I did. Yeah, from Miami, actually. What are you doing over there now? Are you working or right is it, now? Is it for I, work or what was it for? Family work? For I'm from the Bay Area. Oh, okay. I, I was born in <clears throat> born about 20 miles south of San Francisco, but <clears throat> you know what? I'm a, I'm going to videotape you because I do interviews. It's all good. So go uh, ahead. But, uh, Let's my, tell your story. I'm from the Bay Area. Had, uh, grandparents in Atherton and Belmont. Okay. Um, during the late 70s, early 80s, uh, there was a big move from uh, the Bay Area up to uh, the Northwest, up to Seattle, up towards uh, there. And my mom sold our our meager house. Meager. I love the word. Meager house in 19... 19- 80 Ooh. and uh, moved ourselves up to uh, Shelton, Washington. Shelton. Shelton, which is on the other side of Puget Sound. It's a uh, place that the uh, person speaking right now does not know well. I've heard of it. I don't even know how to place it on a map. So that's Shelton, Washington that we're talking about right now. He is about to teach me about Shelton, yes. Washington. Shelton, Washington is across the Puget Sound from Tacoma, Washington. Okay. Tacoma is on the uh, western or the eastern East, side yep. of the Puget Sound. Uh, lots of Bainbridge uh, is that close to Shelton? Bainbridge Island yep. is much further north. Bainbridge okay. is uh, a ferry right away from you Seattle. Know what? I didn't mean Bainbridge Island. I meant um, where's the port? Bremerton. Bremerton, thank you. Yeah, Bremerton the other B is across the Puget Sound again. But from Se- Bremerton is, is is west of Tacoma. Bremerton is west of uh, Tacoma. It would be northwest of Tacoma. Right, and Shelton is. Shelton is uh, south of Bremerton. Okay. So you have. So like, so I'm just placing it in my head. So I get it now. So we go across. You go west. You can either go north into Bremerton, you're, you're, or you can you go know, south into San Shelton. San Francisco. San Francisco right. as a peninsula. Yep. As a as a bay. Yep. Uh, Seattle is very similar right. in the way that there is another peninsula, yep. a much larger peninsula in Washington State. Um, also, that um, Seattle. Okay. If we bays do get on, confusing, by the way, everybody who's watching this who do not have bays. We're two people who are used to bays and we're still. Mostly I'm talking, talking about peninsula. It. Yeah. Once you get the hell out there. You like it. You oh, like you it love it because there is so much around you. But it's what about the to seafood too? The seafood? Yeah, on the beaches and stuff. Do you ever do uh, clamming and all that out in Shelton? Not all clamming, right. but um. Yeah, you're you're touching the right nerve, but. Um, no, I didn't mean to touch the nerve at all. No, <clears throat> I mean, I'm kidding in the way to say that. Yes, you're um, tapped into the mollusk. Okay, there you go. All right. And I could te- teach you. I could share with you history on the Bay Area, on San Francisco. I would Francisco, love that. Absolutely. On what the, I know you have to get to your friend's place. I get it. There are shell mounds that are thousands of years old in the Bay Area. Seriously. Seriously. See, that's the kind of stuff I love. That's why I'm. That's why I like meeting people. 
and then also in the the northwest that um i again i grew up out there i we had uh, friends across the road that had water access that were on the water that we i would go and pick or harvest oysters out of the mud wow. um just naturally growing yep and they are wonderful that was up in the northwest but in the bay area um you go back a couple hundred years you had an huge oysters growing in the, the mud um, on the west coast just as naturally as they did in the northwest Wow! so um, but a, a gooey duck I mean yeah. again any size queen knows what a gooey duck is yeah. but the general public won't know what a gooey duck is from a fucking hole in the soil yeah. but again you gotta, not pretty they're not pretty you gotta sneak up on a gooey duck and uh, catch its or distract its attention what would you describe a gooey duck as? I've always said it looks like a large snail. I know other people have said it looks like a large slug. What would you say? You might say it just looks well, like a gooey duck. first I'd start with, what's the difference between a snail and a slug? Shell. Snail and the slug is the amount of slime it produces. Ooh. So, well put. Again, and then we go, on what con continent are you at? And, pardon me, tonight I came out to choose to get drunk. No, you I did. have not been drunk for a long You're time. You're fine, man. You're fine. Pardon. And I'll help you get home. Don't worry about it. But uh, so the difference between a snail and a slug is home is housing. Um, and actually, we can take that back to current po politics. What's the difference between a snail and a slug? Snail knows where his home is. A slug is one who's got to leave a little extra just to find his way home. Mm. Um, now, the difference between a clam and a gooey duck is this, and whether or not you sure. can take this, or you just go for this way. <laughs> <clears throat> a little dirty for our audience, but he's really just talking about fingers and arms, nothing else. No, I'm specifically talking about gooey ducks and clams. Well, that yeah. Clams are very small, and they live in the sand. They filter the water and get their, nu their nutrients, their sustenance from the water. Where gooey ducks actually are an amazing creature that dig very far down into the sand and they put up this huge funnel, this very thick um, <clears throat> muscular tube. That That's what you're doing with the hand right now? Yes. Okay. Uh, that, this is a gooey duck. Okay. Gooey ducks actually do like this. Yep. Um, <clears throat> and then when you walk along the sand up here, up here, they feel it and they pull back down into the sand. Gotcha. Uh, where clams are very short uh, mollusks that do this, and then they pull in. Well, they're smaller animals, or smaller much or whatever. Yeah. They're similar creatures, but yeah. much smaller much in smaller. the evidentiary protection. Right. Uh, gooey ducks are incredible because they're incredibly ugly, incredibly tough to <laughs> cook, and incredibly tough to. I mean, no one ever rescues a gooey duck, right? Like they do a dog or a cat. Etc. Or a regular um, duck. Now, if I could take you back 30 years to the northwest, to maybe Harstein Island, and show you what the the um, the not only the sand dollars but the starfish used mm. to look like. Starfish used to have 15, 20, 25 arms on them. Really? Starfish. This How do you big, wait? Can I ask you a question? Mm -hmm. How do you know all this? I was born in 1969. Okay. Doesn't mean that you know all this. Well, I know all this because I'm a fairly intelligent creature. No, but did you study it? Well, I studied them through life. Through life. So you've always been fascinated with um, seeing, you know, the ocean. I have a buddy. No, I'm I'll just tell you about my own personal I, I have a buddy who, who loves the ocean. He's been selling fish water aquariums, or fish water, saltwater aquariums for since he was like 15 years old, right? He ended up take, you know, managing that place. He ended up having his own. He's now an entrepreneur and he's doing very well because he just loves that stuff. He may be an All the same stuff that you're talking about right now. So that's what I'm asking you. Like, I'll call him an aquapreneur. Yeah. Because well, he, I like that. he knows his water and he yep. knows his fish. And so and why are you excited market. about it is what I'm asking you. Excited about what? 
about the sea, about the, the wildlife in the sea. First the, of all, I have never seen the sea. I'm from the United States. We have the sea. The oh, you're talking Ocean about the ocean. Okay, the you want to be specific. Ocean. Gotcha. Okay. I've, I've traveled. I've seen from Berlin to Paris to London to mm -hmm. through Italy and but not really touch the sea. I do know my ocean. You want to be specific? Gotcha. We do call it on the West Coast a lot of times. We do call it the sea. You know that. The sea of what? Just the sea. The it's like that's sea? the sea. Which is wildly. You're being very you know, specific. I get that it. Is now that's the, fine. The that's open fine. market for hey, lithium. It's well. See, you're going a little bit north or west or south or wherever. What we're talking about. We're talking about wildlife. We're talking about the sea creatures and all that stuff. Having a fun conversation. <clears throat> so I'm going to keep it that way. So what I'm asking you is, when you think about this stuff, does it bring you enjoyment? Like, I had, because my buddy, right? Because everybody has friends. So my, because he's one of my best friends Please for life. Please ask me a specific question. I'm going to. I'm getting there. He's one of my best friends my entire life. Because of that, I had a saltwater aquarium. I don't know much about Neither do the I. sea or I the ocean or about. the rivers or any of that stuff, right? But I learned a lot because I had that going on. So that's why I'm asking you, when when you learned all this knowledge, was there a reason for it or were you just wanting to read? Like, what was the reason for it? <clears throat> Let's see. Let's say. And I get it. <clears throat> that last question was, whoa, way mark here. Mm -hmm. Let's go for a question up here. What's the question up there that question you want? The question up is, is what? Is it that they would like to hear right now? Right no. now. That's not the question I'm asking. I'm trying to get to know you. All right. Have you, you never have you never had a person higher. try to get to know you? Mm, no. That's sad. I, not, yeah, I'm sad for you. Is. I'm sad for it you. It actually is. I, I, I actually was crying over a lost love earlier. Oh. So that's what brought me out tonight. Well, I'm I sorry about that. I have been drunk in 20 years. And I came out tonight and I kept buying shots for myself and anybody that would play me pool. You do know that you've been taking it out on me a little bit the last 10 minutes, right? Which is fine. Oh, 10 minutes? Not all night. Just First 10 of all, minutes. I haven't been taking it out on you at all. You've Thankfully. been a little salty. And I've, I've been being very kind to you and you know that. And I'm even going to help you get to where you need to go. So I'm just, I'm just. Yeah, you can turn off the camera now. Okay. I will turn the camera off. 